Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing the second half of that 2017 Bowman draft that we popped open a little bit earlier today on a Monday. This is half case uh, random team break number 20. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action in the second half. Remember the combo teams, of course. Let's randomize each list one and a three, four times. One, two, three, and four. We've got Jesse down to Andrew after four times. And then one and a three, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and four. We got the Rangers down to the Angels. I don't want that font. I want this font. There we go. All right. So Jesse with the Rangers, Lee, you've got the Astros. Kyle with the Royals, Mark with the Dodgers, you got my Dodgers. Nick LaPlante, Last Spot Mojo, Braves. Rich with the Marlins, Lee with the Blue Jays, Darren with the A's, Joel, you got the Cardinals Nationals combo. Jesse with the Rays, Wolf, you got the Orioles Cubs combo. Anthony with the Padres, Jesse with the White Sox. Josh, you got the Mets, Rich with the Brewers, uh, Mike Swan with the Phillies, Bulldog fan with the Yankees, Elijah with the Reds, Joe, you got the Tigers, Jason Cox with the Twins, Mark with the Mariners, DC, you got the Giants. Boo. Mike Coons with the Indians. We're Dodgers fans. Colin with the uh, Pirates. DC with the Red Sox. Jesse with the Rockies. Alfonso with the Diamondbacks. Andrew Wagner with the Angels. Let's alphabetize by team. Let's print this guy out. Any any trades? I don't think I see any trade talk. Let's print that list out right there. Jesse's t saying uh, Rangers or Rockies for Orioles. So he's looking for the Orioles. Rangers or, or Rockies for that. Uh, Mark, Mark's saying, we have basketball on the website too. People are talking a little bit of basketball mm -hmm. as well. Terry Ro Rosier with a steal and a dunk for the second one. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, the best teams in Bowman, the Dodgers are okay in this. The best team in Bowman are usually the guys with the top draft picks, right? So that would be like the top five or ten, I guess. You know, Braves are one of them. I think the Reds have a top pick. The Padres are really good in this. The Twins have the number one overall pick. And then a few others. Oh, the Rays have uh, Brendan McKay, a two-way player. He can hit and pitch. So, like, those are some of the bigger teams right there. And obviously, you know, when you're talking, like, big market teams like the Yankees and the Dodgers always always tend to do well. All right, doesn't look like there's going to be any trades. So we'll type in TWC, indicating trade window closed. So that list you saw on the previous screen remains the same. As you remember from the previous break, I marked all these RT to, to let you know that they're from the same case. Oh, a wolf is here. He'll do Rangers for Oreo. I haven't even opened up a pack yet, so we can go, go ahead and do it. Even though I did close the trade window, I'll still do it. I did type in TWC, but I'm, I'll be nice. Uh, Jesse, are you still down for that? Just need your final answer, Jesse. So it looks like we do have a late trade here, possibly. That's the potential trade that we're looking at. Uh, we have another half of the case uh, in the store right now. Jaspieshobbyland.com. So that's from a fresh case. So if you want to do some more of this Bowman, then we definitely can.
Right, exactly. That's the, that's the fun part about this Bowman draft, Paul T. Yeah, you never know who's going to hit it big. You know, I don't even know where, where Aaron Judge was drafted. I don't even know if he was a first uh, a first round pick. Maybe he was. Was he? I have no idea. Now I'm curious. But yeah, I mean that that's what's great about these uh, about these sets. So you never know who's gonna who's gonna hit big. He was a for he was a he was a thirty second overall pick in the first round, so he was a late pick. It was a compensation pick after losing Nick Swisher in free agency, believe it or not. So Nick Swisher turned into Aaron Judge. All right, I don't see Jesse anymore in the room. All right, so sorry, trade window closed again. It looks like no response from Jesse on that to confirm that trade. I need that. People change their minds, so I need to confirm that. So in the previous break, we were talking about some of the free. There's a lot of still, a lot of a uh, big free agents still left. I want to get everyone's opinion here. Where where do the big free agents go? So the first, I think the first one, well, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, one of the one of the big ones is uh, Hugh Darvish. He's still around. Where does he go? I want to get an idea of everyone's thoughts on that. Hugh Darvish, J.D. Martinez, still around. Where does he go? Hugh Darvish, J.D. Martinez, Eric Hosmer, Jake Arrieta. I think those are some of the bigger names there. All right. Is is Tanaka still available? Looks like he's he's a free agent too. All right. Remember, we don't send the paper, base or commons. But we do send everything else, the chrome, and any inserts that you might find. So we'll breeze by that paper. But we're going to start off with some orange paper. This will definitely ship. As 24 out of 25, Joey Morgan for the Tigers. That'll be for Joe Fagundis. Nice. I'll set that aside over here. Just keep track of that. Yeah, we didn't see the bonus auto box, so... Might, should be in this break. Usually there's one per case. That's what we've been noticing at least. Will Gaddis out of 499. That'll go to the Rockies, Jesse with the Rockies. Nice, Gavin Sheets. Blue Wave autograph for the White Sox. That'll be for Jesse Rager and the White Sox. That's out of 150. So apparently no one has thoughts on where those free agents are going to go. I agree with you guys. Like, I don't know where they're going to go either. It seems like it's all up in the air. There, there's a lot of teams that make sense for certain players, but who's pulling the trigger on those big names? We haven't seen it yet. Jose Tavares at a 399, but it does seem like teams are more interested, or at least for now, a lot of teams are interested in, uh, that goes to the Phillies, by the way, Mike Swan, want to make trades. So they're trying to trying to get some trades going. I know the Dodgers, my Dodgers made uh, a big trade with the Braves, essentially both teams dumping salary. There's Tritson Lutz. It's our second autograph out of this box. 
This is Random Team 20. The next one is in the store already, jazpiecehobbyland.com. That goes to the Brew Crew. Rich with the Brew Crew. Now, Jeff Dorlak is in the room. He's saying that the Yankees want, speaking of trades, the Yankees want uh, Garrett Cole for Clint Frazier. The Yankees do need that pitching. That could be a, that could be an interesting move. There's Dylan Busby out of 4.99. I think the Yankees originally um, originally drafted Garrett Cole or something like that, but they couldn't sign him or he went to college or something. So maybe the Yankees are interested in chasing him and getting him back. There's Bobby Dalbeck out of 200 for the Red Sox. That'll be for DC. Paul T saying that generally the Blue Wave boxes have the has a bonus auto. All right, let's see if that observation is true. Yeah, it seems like we have a lot of cards left though. This could be ripe for a bonus auto. Let's see. Auto there. That's paper. There's Will Gaddis, blue. It's out of 150, 94 out of 150. That's for the Rockies, that's for Jesse. More paper here. Cade McClure. Purple. I don't know why I sleeve that up. Just, I guess, out of habit, I suppose. Cade McClure. Purple chrome out of 250. So that's our third autograph. So usually there's three autographs. Let's see if there's going to be a bonus in here. It's either those or the, I think sometimes the, uh, if there's an insert auto, we'll find a bonus auto as well. It's that purple paper there. That's Will Craig for the Pirates out of 250. Now the Pirates, yeah, do they move Garrett Cole? Do they move guys like Andrew McCutcheon? Do they try to kind of start over, start, re start the rebuild. They've got some good young talent coming through the pipeline though. There it is, nice. Good observation, Paul T. Gavin Sheets, refractor autograph. That's a fourth auto, that's the bonus auto. There you go, nice. All right, that was just the first box. I have the bonus auto next box. Good luck. Oh, no worries, Arthur. Congrats again. Um, Mike Moustakis, where does he go? I guess Lorenzo Kane is still out there, too. Didn't Wade Davis get signed? Or maybe he hasn't. Lance Lynn's a free agent. Greg Holland, a free agent. I feel like there's a lot of names that have not been picked up yet. I don't think I remember any of these guys being signed at the moment. Alex Cobb could be available. Carlos San no, Carlos Santana went to the Phillies, right? Pretty sure he went to the Phillies. Zach Cozart went to the Angels. 
I think they're moving him to uh, moving him to third base, keeping Angel Simmons, of course, Gold Glover at the uh, at the shortstop position. We got Ian Kinsler at second for the Angels. That's pretty good as well. Tyler T. Uh, no, the 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 spots for the all spots sold promo apply to whenever the promo started. It is not retroactive on the trade. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. Some paper. So the Angels have made a lot of moves. So we'll see. We'll see how they do this season. They got pretty close to the playoffs last year. So I'm thinking that's why they were aggressive in the off season. They landed the Otani sweepstakes, and then I think that just kind of opened the floodgates for them. Keeping that momentum going. Sam Carlson, second-round pick for the Mariners. That'll go to Mark with the Mariners. Breeze through this paper. Kevin Maitan is with the Angels, too. After the bit of that scandal with the Braves or the international signings. So the Angels have actually had a really great offseason. We'll see if they can put it all together. Freddie Tarnock out of 399, 179 out of 399. We'll top load all of those up a little bit later after the break. Looking for two more autographs out of here. This is uh, random team number 20 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. And the next one is already in the store. There's your autograph. There's David Thompson for the Mets. 20 out of 99, green chrome. That'll be for Josh Pruce And Paven Smith is your Arizona Diamondbacks autograph. Alfonso with the D-backs. He's the, uh, yeah, he's the top 10 pick. Seventh overall. In the first round. Although, a guy, a guy named Paul Goldschmidt kind of blocking his path. Brendan McKay. There he is. He's on the cover of the box. Out of 499. 72 out of 499. It's a nice one for the Rays. Jesse with the Rays. Two way player. I'm sure I'm sure the Diamondbacks will or the Diamondbacks. I'm sure the Tampa Bay Rays will be will be more than happy to try him out as a as a two way player. There's Bubba Thompson out of 250, 37 out of 250 for the Rangers. That's also for Jesse. More paper here. Tyler Freeman, Bowman 70th, parallel out of 200. For the Tribe, that'll be for Mike Koontz.
Jorge Mateo, blue paper, out of 150 for the Oakland A's. Darren McKenzie with the A's. It's 144 out of 150. My Jones for the Angels out of 399. That'll be for Andrew Wagner of the Angels. 238 out of that. More paper. And Zach Lothar. Purple Chrome for the Orioles. Wolf with the O's, 19 out of 250. He almost tried it. He almost traded them away. Alright, and the rest is paper there. Alright, just two boxes to go. a few orders coming in so keep that momentum going on jazbeeshobbyland.com ladies and gentlemen if you're not in this break you're not going to miss much you know so hop over to the website jazbeeshobbyland.com try to get another one of these breaks going or we've got plenty of other breaks to do and be sure to look at jazbeeshobbyland.com for these all spot sold promo details all those details are there so you'll know which breaks to buy into to uh to give yourself a shot at a Star Wars Stellar Signature spot or a Transcendent Baseball spot for only a fraction of the price. You can't play, or you can't win if you don't play, so you, you may as well play. And it's really by doing what you would normally do, which is join, uh, join group breaks. So now, in addition to the, to the big hit potential that you could get in the group breaks, there's also an additional cherry on top that you could possibly win. All right, good luck everybody. We got green paper. Adam Hazley, 93 out of 99. Phillies could be could be surprise players, I think, in the free agent market or the trade market. I've heard some speculation, hey, maybe maybe Phillies move a bunch of prospects for Machado and have him be the anchor of a the core, the anchor of of a young and exciting team. That's a possibility. Taylor Walls for the Rays. That'll be for Jesse. Although the the Orioles always seem to be hesitant to make uh, to make big trades, there's Taylor Walls for the Rays. I, I don't I don't think they like the idea of of tearing it down for a complete rebuild, like some other teams have done. But they gotta do something with Machado. Otherwise, they'll just lose him to free agency. Maybe do a qualifying offer and end up with a with a draft pick, but. We'll try to get more than that, of course. Scott Kingery, little sky blue refractors out of three ninety nine. That's another one for the Phillies. Another one for Mike Swan and the Phillies. Abner wants that. Uh, wants to see more preferred football. Yeah, take a look. Take a look at our, our Twitter at Jaspie's Hobbyland. Pulled, an, pulled some nice hits out of our preferred football break. There's Anderson Espinosa. Padres also quietly building a team here too. Out of 499. 
Yeah, Jesse's just saying, hey, the owner of those Orioles, just they just meddle too much. Just sign the checks. Yeah, let the GMs do the job, right? All the scouts and everything. Yeah, I think you have to kind of find a balance. Instead of, you know, some owners are trying to save money. Wow, look at that. Joey Morgan, gold shimmer, gold wave, 24 out of 50. For the Tigers, Joe Fagundis with the Tigers. That's a nice hit. 24 out of 50 for their third round pick. That's a nice one. But yeah, a lot, a lot of owners, you know, you got to find a balance between, you know, a lot of owners are just like, hey, bottom line, let's just keep slashing payroll. Let's, you know, sometimes that leads a team to just to be not competitive. But then you got to realize when you got to make a move. Out of 150, Dave Pearson for the Metropolitans. That'll be for Josh. You know, when sometimes a rebuild is necessary. I mean, really, the best time to move Machado, I think, was last summer, right? I think every, 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 every day Machado gets closer and closer to free agency. His value starts to drop, at least trade value. I guess the, I guess the Orioles could still get a lot, but maybe not as much as they could have. Looking for one more auto. And there it is, another Joey Morgan. So I guess Joe, you're gonna start, Joe Fagundis with the Tigers, you're gonna start your Joey Morgan PC. Really hopes that he, he hits the majors soon. As a catcher? Yeah, probably. And a college player? Might see him sooner than you, uh, sooner than we may think. Purple paper. Hello, Newman. Out of two fifty, Kevin Newman. Purple paper for the Pirates. Call him a toy. And that should be it for the autographs and the parallels. Let's see what else we have here. No, oh, one more parallel. And it's Adonis Medina for the Phillies. Out of 250, 132 out of 250 for Mike Swan. All right, last box coming up, folks. Yeah, Joe's like, I'll take it. Hey, just now, Joey Morgan might have just become your your favorite Tigers prospect, Joe. For years. right, Jesse? Yeah, yeah. He, Jesse agrees. He's just like, hey, if you didn't if you didn't want to pay Manny Machado that big money, trade him last year when his value might have been the highest. You know, teams could get like a, a half a year and then another full year of Manny Machado, try to convince him to sign with them, like an extension or something like that. But now that he's in the last year of his deal, you know, I mean, now you got to trade him now, but for, for less. If you wait, you know, then you don't trade him until the trading deadline. How many teams are going to want to move big prospects for a rental? It'll only be there half a season, and then who knows where he goes in free agency. But next couple years of free agency should be pretty crazy. Next year, af after the end of the 2018 season, you know, unless extensions or whatever happen, uh, Bryce Harper and Manny Machado will be unrestricted free agents. Where will they go? Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. Uh, where will they go if they hit unrestricted free agency? I know the Dodgers cleared up a lot of payroll because they're looking at that free agent market. So Dodgers will be players. Will the Yankees be players? I'm sure they will. Red Sox? Probably. 
You know, maybe the Red Sox like the idea of Manny Machado at third base. All right, last box of this one, ladies and gentlemen. Hot stove still percolating. We'll continue to do these baseball breaks on jazbeeshobbyland.com and then uh, keep seeing what moves end up being made. That's what we like to do here at Jaspies. Talk sports, bust open some cards, pull big hits. Jacob Hayward for the Giants, 366 out of 399. Giants definitely need to add. As a Dodger fan, you know, I, I, I could, I'll be happy to see the Giants just uh, wallow in misery for years. But, um, no, they need to power too. Giants, the Giants need power too. He did, Rich. Rich asking, did, did CC Sabathia sign a one year deal? He did with the Yankees. So, CC Sabathia, who was pretty effective last season, I thought. You know, he's a solid back end of the rotation kind of crafty veteran. There's Austin Beck. For the A's, D-Mac with the Austin Beck, who I think was a big pick for the A's, right? Yeah, six overall pick for the A's. Nice Austin Beck. I don't know what the deal was for, like 10, 10 million, I think, for CC Sabathia. Royce Lewis, he's the first overall pick out of 499. It's a strong one for Jason and the Twins. Still a couple more autographs to go. That's pretty cool. Gold Freddy Peralta. That card is gold. 29 out of 50. Brew Crew. That'll go to Rich. Oh, there's Austin Beck right there. Oh, what do we have here? Gold recommended viewing. Shane Baz, or Boz, the Boz, Stephen Jennings, both for the Pirates. That is 45 out of 50. See, if, if the Pirates have kind of these young prospects coming up the ranks, Colin Matoy, maybe Garrett Cole is gone. We got Hagen Danner. Green, chrome, autograph for Lee Keller. There you go, Lee. 7 out of 99. Oh yeah, Arthur confirming that it that the CC deal was a one year ten million dollar deal. It's not a bad it's not a bad pickup. Nate Pearson, another autograph for Lee Keller and the Blue Jays. Nice. John Gruden speaking. Oh, in the Ring of Honor. Man. Raiders never should have let go of John Gruden. Trevor Stefan for the Yankees. 224 out of 399. I'll go to Bulldog fan. Purple paper, another one for the Phillies, Adonis Medina. 
242 out of 250 for Mike Swan and the Phillies. I think that's it, folks. No, no bonus auto, I think. Could be a surprise, but looks like that's about it. So that was a... Uh, oh, we got one more parallel here. That's Ernie Clement. 157 out of 250. Purple Chrome for the Cleveland Indians. That'll be for Mike Koontz. And that is that, my friends. Thank you for joining this break. We've got the first half of a fresh case in the store right now, jazpieshobbyland.com. This was uh, break 20, four box break number 20 of 2017. Bowman, draft baseball from jazpieshobbyland.com. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time.